Mitchell Karasik for LockerBlogger.com, now joined by Alan Houston here at the Kerry Rhodes Foundation event. Alan, thanks for joining us here. It's great, great event here they have going on tonight, put on by Kerry Rhodes. Well, anytime you can have a good time and raise awareness for your passion, uh, for something that you're trying to have work, where you're trying to have an impact on the community. I mean, that's what it's about. Everybody here is important, but they really have a good time as well. Definitely. You certainly do a lot for the community, too. So between the two of you, you do a lot for New York, and everyone really appreciates that. First win tonight for the Knicks. Congratulations. What's it like as now not a player, but sort of on the upper level there, you know, emotionally uh, with the team? It's a little different than obviously when you're a player, when you're getting the W. It's fun, you know, on this end in a different way. Uh, you see the work that they put into it. You know what it's like to lose. You know what it's like to win. And you know what's going on in their minds after winning the loss. So when you go 0-3 and you win your first game, uh, you're happy for that. Plus, you just you see the, the, the progression in, in their careers, meaning from the early stages to now, a guy like Al Harrington and Larry Hughes, when they're they're veterans. So you know, you know, you they see how to handle this stage of their career. So uh, you, you see the process. So it's fun. Yeah. And when you're watching the game upstairs in the box or watching it in the seats, now it's almost like a fan's perspective. So are you kind of riding the wave? When you're a player, I don't think you look you look at it a little differently. You're almost a little bit of a fan now. You know, a little stomach turning during the game, and you know you can't do anything about it. You know, what's going on on the court. So what, what's that like for you watching it as well? Well, it's not. I mean, yeah, a fan for them, you know, again, I'm with them every day, so it's more like you're seeing places where um, the guys are executing right. You look more, you're looking at it more from a coaching perspective than a fan's perspective. You're watching because you, I'm with them every day. Uh, I'm seeing what the coaching staff is getting to do. I'm seeing where they're getting better, uh, the things that you know, they can do better. So that's really where, I, where I'm kind of seeing it, but again, Knowing what they kind of gone through, it kind of helps me to communicate with them. It's a lot more business, basically, than anything else. But you're helping them grow, and it's obviously it's a complete effort there. As far as this year, you have obviously a lot of young players on this team. What do you do to help them grow the, the Chandlers and the Daniels to really help them take them through the experiences you've been through? And of course, to, you have guys who are great shooters on this team, potentially like yourself. So you spend time with them after practice a little bit too, kind of give them some pointers. They put so much work in. You know, I don't. Everybody kind of has their, their routines and their coaches that they go see. But when I see something of an observation, you know, I'll make a point. And I, I just really try to help them all the way around as, as professionals, as men, not just on the court. And Alan, you have an event coming up yourself here. Talk a little bit about your event that you have coming up. We have a fundraiser. together and really uh, grow the skill level and development and the fatherhood. You know, we have 71% of our, of our high school dropouts are from fatherless homes. 75% of uh, chemical abuse is from fatherless homes. So we just want people to agree with us uh, if they see fit that this is an issue that needs to be addressed. And we have a financial education program where we teach young adults how to start their own not just uh, being in the workforce, but having ownership. Uh, and that automatically improves the economy, not only for them, but hopefully for their community. Well, Al, you do a great job with the Knicks. You certainly do a great job with your charities, and everybody appreciates that. Thanks for joining us here for a couple minutes.